do you know that the Constitution does not explicitly guarantee rights to everyone based on sex? The Equal Rights Amendment was created to ensure women in particular have the same rights as men. But Arizona is one of just 12 states that have not ratified the Equal Rights Amendment. Alexia Stanbridge is in the newsroom to explain the complications surrounding it. In order for the Equal Rights Amendment to become part of the Constitution, three quarters of the states, or 38 states, must ratify it. After first being passed by Congress in 1972, 35 states ratified the ERA amendment, then two more followed by 2018. Finally, Virginia ratified the amendment in 2020, making it the 38th state. However, the ratification deadlines set by Congress have expired, and some states have acted to revoke their earlier approval. In a press conference held yesterday by the ERA coalition, state legislators across the country called on Congress to, re to remove the deadline. Arizona Representative Nancy Gutierrez says the state has a long history with the Equal Rights Amendment. I want to champion this in Arizona. We have been entering uh, bills every session for the past hundred years, and they don't get put on committee in Arizona. Um, we are one uh, representative and senator away from a majority in both houses. Now, opponents of the bill say the ERA would overturn laws beneficial to women, like special accommodations for pregnant women and military draft or frontline combat exemptions. They're claiming that we can ratify this after the deadline. And even, as I said, Justice Ginsburg on the Supreme Court said, no, you have to pass it again. But they're trying to claim that because they probably wouldn't be able to go back and get the 38 states that they need. Representative Gutierrez attempted to have the full state house vote on, on, on a bill to ratify the amendment yesterday. She was unsuccessful. At the Google Touchscreen, Alexia Stambridge, Cronkite News.